Today's topic is fainting. Fainting is a sudden, brief loss of consciousness from a lack of oxygen to the brain. Medically referred to as syncope, a fainting episode has no medical significance, but sometimes it may be due to a serious illness, condition, or disorder. Every case of fainting should be treated as a medical emergency until a cause is ascertained and symptoms treated. It is important to figure out what triggered the fainting episode and prevent it from happening again. Anybody with a recurring episode of fainting should seek medical care. Causes Fainting is most commonly caused by a temporary glitch in the part of the nervous system that controls heart rate and blood pressure, usually in response to a trigger. This may cause the heart rate and blood pressure to drop suddenly, leading to reduced blood flow to the brain, and in turn resulting in a brief loss of consciousness. This type is called neurocardiogenic syncope. Common triggers of neurocardiogenic include seeing blood, heat exposure, standing still for long periods of time, an unpleasant sight, sitting suddenly, sudden emotional upset, such as when receiving bad news, extreme embarrassment, fear of bodily injury. Fainting can also result from a fall in blood pressure after standing up rapidly from a lying down or seated position, referred to as orthostatic hypotension. This condition is usually common in older adults, particularly those aged over 65. Possible triggers of orthostatic hypotension include untreated diabetes, alcohol, medications for high blood pressure, dehydration, antidepressants, neurological conditions such as Parkinson's disease, carotid sinus syndrome. An underlying heart condition can also cause a drop in the blood and oxygen supply to the brain. This is referred to as cardiac syncope. Possible heart conditions include chest pain, abnormal heartbeat, a heart attack, high blood pressure, narrowed or blocked blood vessels to the heart, weakened heart chambers, structural problems with the heart muscles, pregnancy, eating disorders such as anorexia, anemia. Symptoms. Confusion, blurred vision, a feeling of heaviness in the leg, sweating, nausea, dizziness or lightheadedness, yawning, fast, deep breathing, ringing in the ears. These symptoms are usually followed by a loss of consciousness and strength. After fainting, the person may appear pale, experience a drop in blood pressure and a weak pulse. Diagnosis and Treatment To make a diagnosis, the doctor will review your medical records and will ask about fainting episodes. The doctor may carry out certain tests, including a blood test to check for diabetes, anemia, or an infection, an electrocardiogram to check the electrical activity of the heart, tilt table test to monitor heart rate, rhythm, and blood pressure while the person is moved from a lying position to an upright position, carotid sinus simulation. If none of these tests suggest anything unusual, the doctor will conclude that the person has neurocardiogenic syncope. Treatment Often, no treatment is needed. To avoid more episodes, avoid triggers such as standing still for long periods, dehydration, and being in hot or stuffy places. For fainting caused by an underlying health condition, treating such underlying condition will help prevent future episodes. If you feel faint, you should. Find a place to sit or lie down. Place your head between your knees when sitting. When you are ready to get up, do so gently and slowly. If you see someone fainting, place such person on their back, facing up. If they are breathing, you can help restore blood flow to their brain by raising their legs up about 12 inches above heart level. Try loosening all belts, ties, collars, and restrictive clothing. When the person comes around and wants to get up, do so gently and slowly. If they remain unconscious for more than 60 seconds, get medical help. Thank you for watching our video. Please do not forget to like and share the video. Also, please subscribe to the channel to stay updated on our latest videos.